Yo, kid you not, I recorded almost a 15 minutes long video just minutes ago, okay, on the Screlly and half of it, someone else was talking in the background, meaning I had another video playing. Oh my god. Yeah, I kid you not. I thought, should I just cut that part off and just provide the rest, like seven minutes long? I mean, it didn't make sense because this was not enough context. So I'm redoing this, ladies and gents, and really hope I can get this right. Okay, and whatever I like included in the previous one, like whatever I mentioned, I hope I can include this, all, all the stuff here, okay? Check this out. Skrilly Planet. So this dude, he had a channel, 58,000 subscribers. He dropped that, Pharma Bro. He comes back to this new channel, Skrilly Planet, and he, he did a video four days ago, which had 26k views, okay? Martin Skrilly, AI will crash like the dot-com bubble in the late 90s. I mean, obviously, I mean, this guy has nothing better to do, no other better topic, right? What happened to Trump token he just created recently and got exposed by Zach XPD, who literally got rewarded $150,000. And now, you know what? If you look, he actually has a video. Let me show you this. How does he do stuff like this and get away with it? And you know, he's even literally saying, oh, check this out here. Where was that? When he talked about, about the token. It's right here. My scrolly, I would be in prison if I lied about creating Trump coin with Baron Trump. No, bro, you won't be in prison. US is kind of, there's too much thing going on. Unless people, you know, you did something extreme and somebody reports you. Oh yeah, if DJ, DJT official reports you, that's a different story. Other than that, I, I don't think anybody cares. And if you notice, it's not about 16 likes and zero likes or whatever, but I'm going to read the comment. There was two interesting comment. Yeah, that's one, okay? Second, I mean, who are you trying to fool? It's just so ridiculous, man. Like, he's just sad. And, and guess what? I'm running for Congress. <laughs> Only in America. Only in America. You can do crazy outlandish stuff, Parma bro, and actually run for Congress. I'm not gonna read that comment, please. I'm not I'm not checking that on that. Mine really shows how to research on a company. I mean he's back at creating content, ladies and gents. What's the hidden agenda? What's his deal? I don't know. Look look at here. Mine really analyzes Netflix from scratch. Deep value? Explains how Wall Street works. Now he's just trying every hard so people can forget about all the other stuff, right? What happened to Trump token? Why would you do something like that? I mean, obviously, you had an evil intention. Uh, why would you even do... Because it's election year that's coming. This is... Everything's going to pump. Anything you create related to those, you know, politicians or whatever, it, it's, it's going to pump. It's, it's relevant. It's relevant. It's trending. So he took the opportunity to do this and then gets caught by Zach XPD. And now he comes and says, no, you know what? I didn't do that. Like, you want people to buy this? Really, bro? Like, it's just so stupid that you literally are trying to convince the most basic stuff, right? One plus one is two. No, bro, it's wrong. One plus one is three, you know? Oh, yeah, you must be right. That's Martin Scrilly, ladies and gents. Okay? Some dudes call him sociopathic. Like, you know, he, he is. I'm just going to check on this video here, particularly. And some of the comments. I don't want to play the thing because he literally is blah, 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 ranting about why AI is going to crash just like dot com bubble, whatever. Um, I'm not 100% sure about the, that crazy crash. Yeah, because if that happens, obviously, Nvidia stock is going to pretty much go down. Nvidia is holding strong. But there are, there are some valid points. All right. There are like a lot of AI tools. I personally have an AI channel. I'm, I'm going to get on the comments in just a bit. So, yeah, stay tuned. I have an AI channel. I haven't posted for one and a half months now because in AI, there's so much drama. It's just ridiculous. All right. We have one Sam in the crypto space. You know what he did. And now he's in jail. And what is with the Sam? Now we have the Sam Altman. Altman. Alt. <laughs> Alt. Alter ego. Altman. Very unpredictable dude, man. Don't even know what he's coming up with. The dude literally onboarded an NSA agent. NSA known for spying in, uh, you know, spying United States citizens. Onboards that as an advisor of OpenAI. Are you kidding me? Who wants to use OpenAI anymore? I mean, you literally have an NSA agent. So ladies and gents, I use ChatGPT, but I'm very careful on what I put there. All the public information I only put, I, yeah. But a lot of people are using it for private stuff. You gotta be very careful. OpenAI has just closed AI, okay? It's, AI is just becoming a little bit of grift because there's some good stuff, okay? But there are a lot of grift. Most of the, I, have, I use a lot of paid tools as well. Midjourney, ChatGPT, Runway ML. There are a few ones that make sense, okay? But others are just using all the OpenAI's API in the back, back end 
and front end they just polish a little bit the features oh look article creator article generator charging ten dollars twenty dollars per month that's insane all right so yes when I, when I see those things i'm like yeah maybe i will crash to some extent some part of ai will crash some part AI is very huge right now okay we have this ai software side you have ai in the the robotic side the chips and stuff so if you really ask me yeah I, like i said makes sense but i don't see crash to that level because it's huge yeah it's kind of bigger than internet man and i'm seeing literally one dude said in the comments AI probably will be injected in everything literally what if like small toys all the kids toys have ai in it now they can interact and all this stuff i'm just saying it's crazy this mug here coffee mug could be like a smart ai coffee mug which could read you know what's in this how much of caffeine is in there i kid you not we already have fridge and all the stuff that tells you what food is expiring and all the things so i'm like it's gonna be big so ladies and gents but i'm not gonna buy any of the bs that martin squarely feeds us this guy comes creates token hidden evil agenda. what did andrew Tate do alleged partners with this dude two thousand dollars can restore a million dollar in the token that dude is supposed to be billionaire or whatever he grifts for a million dollars from the plebs that also like bladen man bladen shameless anyway i'll let you be the judge all right watch this here I'm a 10 year, 12 year software engineer. There are no more entry level jobs, handful of mid jobs. I work for a Fortune 500 company and work is slim as hell. I'm saving every paycheck in case I have a change of careers. I can see this happening. That's scary, scary right? One dude is talking about AI crash and this guy's like, man, AI is actually taking over jobs and stuff. It's, it's, it's brutal. I still feel there will be the human element, unless it's AGI or whatever, right? AI will help you create software, um, the tools and chat, the coding aspect, right? We'll give you everything. You take those things and polish it and present it to your clients and stuff, I guess. The middle person, no way. So I guess the, whoever is going to be able to use the AI to whatever great level and accelerate, that's the winner. That dude is going to be the winner, basically. Okay, that, that's what it is. And you know what's the worst and sad part? So-called open AI. I told you about the hype. Sora, the video generator. Hey, man, where is Sora? There are so many other tools that's coming out. I mean, they hype up everything, okay? And then guess what? If Sora comes out, they'll be like, yeah, we'll just give the crumble to the Lilliputs, the retailers. And all the big production companies house, they will have the, all the best tools. How, how, how fair is this, man? And on top, when you ask them, right, every single questions, they can't even answer properly. Hey, so what did Sora train on? What kind of model? Uh, what, what, did it train on the YouTube videos? Um, Maybe, maybe not. What do you mean? If it's publicly available, maybe. What about Facebook videos and posts? If it's available for public, bro, I've literally seen that alien in the Sora, right? That alien is like Smeagol from Lord of the Rings. Smeagol, 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 Golem. Yeah, I mean, how could he fool that? Fool us with that Smeagol? Anyways, <laughs> that was my rant. Martin should write cleaner code. The internet is pretty much a bigger AOL. It's no longer the Wild West it used to be. Everything is curated and commercialized. Yeah, it is. I was hoping he would make points as to why there's a bubble. Other than there have been bubbles in the past out there, yeah. History does not have to repeat itself. To some extent. And yeah, so clearly he doesn't explain anything. Just for views, man. 26k views. Wow. Here's my theory. AI will crash and NVIDIA will tank. But while that's happening, there's going to be a massive flood of unused chips that need to go somewhere. Okay, this has some po points. Okay. The logical place for those chips to go is to gaming companies. The gaming companies will come up with some kind of creative use for the flood of unused chips that they've received all discount rates. I can see that happen. Being a gamer, the chips in the game is going to be next level. But then I, at the same time, who's making the money then? Me? Playing video games? Who's uh, sponsorships? I mean, this is where we need to pay attention, ladies and gents. Like, are we becoming a consumer in the AI space where all the top dudes are milking? Or are we actually being able to, you know, democratize and make something for ourselves as well i mean struggle i gotta put food on my table as well right i gotta feed family and if ai jobs and stuff is taking a mass effect like it is it is it's real we are not only talking about the ai in the software side we're talking about the robotic side elon musk has his tesla robot that could fold stuff my cat litter needs to be cleaned right now if i had a robot i could program it to clean the cat litter box right yeah i mean it wouldn't have any problem with the poop and pee i guess anyways he made the same video six months ago. Watch this. 
He made the same video six months ago, same title, same everything. And Nvidia kept going up 120%. This is wrong. <laughs> to mislead beginners, you're going to pay for this one day. Also, remember this. These dudes, they have some so called agenda. I told you. They'll short the market, long the market. And that's why they're back in great content creation, bro. Like, it's disgusting to see this guy just come away, do stuff, and get away again. And literally says, ah, if I created a Trump token, I would have been in jail. Just because you're not in jail doesn't mean you didn't create it, okay? Bruh. <laughs> I've always thought the AI we see today is just a remix of what tech companies were already doing. Call it something different to make money. I agree. AI has been around for such a long time. The voice commands, you have the Siri, Alexa. It's just a little more polished version. And now a lot of them are using it for grift, unfortunately. Right? Check this out. It's a good time to get into unique games. Augmented reality in VR is going to be... So basically... Okay, I see. So one way we could make is like what? Invest in the gaming companies? That's what that gaming part was? Okay. That makes sense to, us, like, to some extent. But how many of us even have that significant amount of money lying around that we can put millions in the gaming company like so we can make more? Right? If AI crashes, we will short it down. Money made. I wish I saw this video two days ago. <laughs> Why would you be using JavaScript? Bro, this guy just act like I told you. He just acting as this viz, the wizard in front of the so-called plebs. Like he's gonna put whatever out there and everybody's is it, gonna eat it up and believe what, whatever he says, basically. That's the plan. Okay, some of us will question, he, he won't care. He'll just block us and move on. That's that's the plan. So if we won't get AGI, I don't know, man. They keep saying AGI this, AGI that. We'll discuss it later. Again, if you're interested in AI stuff, I have an AI channel. I'm gonna start creating content, but not drama. I waited for it because there's so much. Everybody just, there's a lot of channels out there just pumping news every day massive amount of views i don't see a reason okay i, I like to focus on work on like hands-on tools that i can use like show you how, how to use mid journey to create images cutouts or whatever that makes sense so we can monetize those things that's what i do okay elite system dot ai tell that to pantera capital launching 200 million point <laughs> AI focus funds i know right all these big dudes they don't care vcs and by the way, not all VCs are smart, bruh. They just see AI, they have so much money lying around. God knows where they got the money from. All they want to do is just dump it on AI because everybody believes in AI, so. And I'm not an AI hater and all that. I love AI. I'm utilizing it every single day. I'm, I'm a techie guy. It fascinates me, okay? I mean, honestly, like I said, in the future, you can see quite a bunch of stuff happening. And I want to be a part of a production. I want to be part of producing, not just here to consume all AI, 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 right? I want to be able to use AI to do some stuff so I can sell, make some money. Yes, after election, after elections. Oh, that might have a lot of things may happen after that, man. It's just anyway, ladies and gents, look at this here. Do st <laughs> I'm not going to read any more of the comments. I'm just going to go back simply to the other one. All right. Over here. This one. Watch this. I'm not playing this video, but I want to check on the comments real quick. Check this out. 11 comments. So fair, fair. The old squirrel is back. Keep it up, mean. <laughs> Anyone who names this guy is insane. And by the way. Because it's a politician, right? There's a lot of hate and love for it. The ones who hate him, they're like, oh yeah, good job, bro. Keep scamming people with this. So please take it with a grain of salt. I mean, people have this so-called hidden agenda here. This guy's insane. Haha, <laughs> I love it. Very curious. What do you think about Digital Trump? Scraley is extremely unhelpful. Bro, look at this one. Look at this one here. This this is interesting one, okay? These videos are a trip. I can't help but like some part of Screlly. He's smart, thoughtful, sincere, witty, often hilarious. He's also absolutely and thoroughly sociopathic. Every dirtbag thing there is to be embraced. He's there to embrace it wholeheartedly and to make you feel like you have the problem if you don't like it. You don't like some, you don't like this, man? You're a problem, bro. What do you mean you don't like this? Everybody likes this. You're the one. You suck, bro. Everybody likes digital token. Everybody likes scam. You're gonna like it too, man. Yeah, that's that's your Screlly. All right. So why wouldn't he only not, um, love crypto, which is all stupid, stupid investment that borders on a scam, most of them, but specifically be become associated with and assist in the creation of a bottom of the barrel meme coin with the most corrupt. Again, see that? Screw you, Scarly. Seriously, I will not fall under your spell. You were given everything, smarts and charisma, and you're choosing it to for all evil. Sad, isn't it? I mean, dude, dude is smart, cunning. I should say cunning, right? Whatever he's done, got away with it, and then comes back and still doesn't. I mean, this is the irony, right? Buys up all the AI domains, shields AI. Like, that's what you need. You have money, you have everything. Ladies and gents, this is another level. 
relevancy. Okay, I enjoyed creating videos. That's I enjoy. That's how it is. Relevancy, I'm not too sure about that. It's just my thing. I don't. Have, and also, it's my uh, bread and butter. Um, that's my plan in the future to actually make my content creation a better bread and butter. But Screlly doesn't need any of these. Why do you think he's doing this? Relevancy. If you don't trend, if you become irrelevant, that pain, the ego, is extremely. Yeah, there you go. My camera. Cam. Why would you do this at the right time? Like, I'm about to end this video. All right, ladies and gents. Almost there. Almost there. Yeah, I don't want to edit this video, so... Yeah, that's all I have for you, okay? Let's actually read this last comment here. Check this out. Well, maybe if you were smart enough to understand that there's no free lunch in any market, then you wouldn't chase fairy tales like crypto instead. I like this, actually. It's true. I like crypto as well, but man, if you're not early, you just... You're gonna get wrecked so hard. It's not his fault. They are being allowed and pushed to do this. It's insane, isn't it? Don't, just sometimes you feel like... Why are these dudes out there allowed to do this and get away with it? Are they literally pushed to do this, encouraged, incentivized, so they can take down others like us and all, you know? Then they can shuffle you into the good Fed file coin, whatever, and normalize behavioral tokens, soul bound tokens, and tokenized commons. I feel like that as well. I mean, I, I mentioned I have a very scary take on crypto money, it's just like a controversial thing. Yeah? I mean, when Bitcoin came out, it was a collapse of, you know, like financial collapse 2008. If you notice that, that's the product. Bitcoin was the product of it, right? Who created Satoshi? We don't know that. And now all of a sudden, they just make normalize this crypto thing so we can take it easy. And then they say, you know what? 90% are banned and only a few so-called CBDCs and blah, 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 tokenized. We'll, that's what it is. Wait, but they government and controls and all this stuff. Now they're so used to this crypto because everybody can use it. Now they will, you know, implement on a broader scale. I'm just saying, what are the chances, man? What are the chances? You tell me. It's, it's insane, isn't it? Like when this guy said, shuffle you to the good Fed file coin, whatever. <sighs> Anyways, ladies and gents, Martin Scully is here and I don't think he's your friend. Sure, you can learn something from him. He's knowledgeable. He can teach you quite a bunch of Wall Street stuff and all that maybe, but why would he teach you everything and then he not gain anything out of it? Like, Messiah. Do you really think he went to jail because he wanted to help people out? <laughs> Why do you think he went to jail in the first place? Come on, man. And now everybody's like, yeah, he's right. Support him. Anyways, ladies and gents, that's your Martin Scurley out there. Just be careful because this guy can be known creating tokens, pump and dumps, and then he'll come and try to prove that he, it wasn't him. Play with your mind. So yeah, be careful. All right, I'm out.